Hey everybody, welcome back to the Shutdown Diaries. It's day 44, April 28th. We have the March calendar with all the days on it. We have the April calendar. And I added the May calendar since it's May 1st this Friday. The board has gotten a little bigger. I added my favorite thing. What we'll do is we'll go out. <laughs> And as you can see, nobody's here again except Luna. Hi, Luna. Hi. Luna is doing something we all wish we could do. Decompress alone. Yes. So Just let's... a few minutes alone. I understand. Let's go out to the garage. Austin's supposed to come up with a name for our garage. Oh, yes. A name and a logo. Is what he's supposed to come up with. Okay. But he hasn't as of yet. Okay. But you're working on it, right? Yes, yes. How was your day? Did you work? Yes, I yes. Well not today I didn't work. <laughs> I did yes. Work today. You didn't work yes. today, right? You didn't work today. So I, I focused I on did. I focused on driving. I drove a lot today. I drove all around town. We <coughs> did uh, an Albies drive through and then a Starbucks drive through So between those two I got most of the streets of our neighborhood. And I have you on tape ordering the yes. after the credits. Yes, I, I'm kind of addicted to this point. And yes. To going. You said it was fun because instead of just driving aimlessly, you actually have destinations. Yes, yes. I like the idea that I, with this vehicle, got coffee. Mm -hmm. That's great. I can get coffee. So, you know, now I want a car. Yeah, and Rachel worked today. Today was my busiest day yet at work. Today was the registration for summer session at Fullerton College. So I helped 75 students on the phone today from my hot It's a new session. record. It is my record. It's not a record I'm trying to break. <laughs> but at all. At so. least you're being very helpful. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. Yes. i just like to point out that I scared myself a couple of minutes ago while Austin was talking. I was zoning out and I was like, wow, look at that picture of Markiplier. And then my eyes went down and I saw a little me. <laughs> and I just, I just, my whole life flashed before my very own eyes. And that's you in Possessed. Not, not really that scary. And She's Austin made there. cookies. I did. Yes, I like to Easter make cookies. Yeah. That bunny cookies. looks a little dead. Because you know us Tuckers, we do holidays all year long. Yep. Not even when it's the right holiday. To potential pseudos out there, you need me in your life. I can make sugar cookies and coffee, and coffee. all day. He made me coffee oh, too. It's basically all I do He's is very make charming. coffee and cookies and then no. drive around. And he loves to clean. And I do complain. love to clean. Yeah. So he's he's a good suitor. If I, you want to vote for Austin, Amy text Penn, actually zero 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 to zero zero zero. My, my cleaning shift at Target, and I decided to give the registers the deep <coughs> scrub. You do, however, if you're applying to date Austin. Have to like me. Oh my god. Oh boy. Because Look at Josie. Oh my god. It's a requirement. You have to be just as insane as he is. And True. there's a certain level of insanity that he has that I don't think another person on this planet also has. Oh, okay. we can't wait to meet her. I'm scared to meet her, in fact. Yeah, Austin's Here wife out there is something special. <laughs> She's out there somewhere, you know. I haven't somewhere given up out there. So, there's uh, a nerd for me. If you go to the, the Target on Orange Store at Buena Park, those registers are red, man. It looks like the store just opened all clean. I scrubbed those down. Safe to go to Target and Buena Park. Yes, absolutely. What's funny is uh, when I was there the other day, my manager was trying to make sure that people were social distancing, and she was trying to use the markers on the floor, because it's, it's like a department store. We have tiles. So I'm just, you know, I'm doing this in the registers all day, and it's like, uh, you know, whistle while you walk, do, do, do. Like, that's me, right? I'm just scrubbing along, and I just hear my manager going, six squares six <laughs> squares people and i start laughing so hard oh it's a, it's a good like, idea i'm thinking of the ghost of don borg yeah. oh yeah about in the store. <laughs> it was hilarious what is six squares in reference to how far she wanted us apart at the line and for berg the toilet paper shortage. Yeah. He had this idea that you would only use six squares of toilet paper. This was... Uh, fold it over. Yeah. And what if you need more? You fold it over. Man, Don Borg predicted this. He saw yeah. people saw this. He was a hoarder. He was a and he, and, and he And he rationed toilet paper. He could have done fine right now. Now, Don Borg, well, what's shut down? I don't know what shutdown you're talking about. Life is normal. So let's, let's talk more about driving. 
because I'm looking into buying a car. Any recommendations down below? The the two I'm kind of looking at right now are the the Honda Fit and the Kia Soul. I just says I'm still so, wearing these. Just any moment uh, that you saw me when I was wearing these, just pretend that I wasn't wearing them. We'll CG them out like yeah, the mustache. Like I'm not a like Superman's mustache. No, I can't, according to everyone, I look like a murderer. Is that why so. you saw yourself across the room? Yeah, because right now I can't see her. Yeah, we've already had a couple of people give us good call recommendations. Keep them coming. You know, a good cause for a young person, first time buyer, looking to just uh, commute to walk in. We've had multiple people comment that they want to meet us at the Luxor. Let's I would do be it. Down with that. Party at the Luxor. We will tell you what day we're going, and we're going. Unfortunately, Little Caesars <laughs> is closed at the Luxor. So uh, we, can't well, get a we can splurge for uh, Sabaro. <laughs> it's Why Vegas, you baby. Sit up like that. Oh, you're on your feet. Okay, I was like, you're not that much taller than me. He's because he's sitting like this. <laughs> Rachel has uh, show announcements. Show announcements. I have a birthday shout out to our favorite Ghostbuster, Miss Eva Trez. Happy birthday. Who are you going to call? Um, I think that was my only show shout out. Today. That was it. I wanted to share Barbies because she's Josie. she's horror movies and beyond, correct? Oh yes, give her a plug. Find her on I think it's Instagram. Horror, the same, horror right? movies and beyond. I think it's the same on Instagram. Do um, you like her, Austin? Is she your type? When I got off work, uh, finally, the, the, uh, gets canceled after we six We decided to dress some of the dolls Seven. with some of the vintage <laughs> clothes we got, so we thought we'd share. This is her hair still wet. Oh, fashion show. Yeah, we're doing a fashion show. This is my Barbie, my real Barbie from my childhood. One of my Barbies. Do, 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 she do, was do, do, originally do, 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 do. in the red velvet dress with the hearts all over it because she was loving heart Barbie. Um, I still have that dress, but now but she is 40 her. and I did rename her because I didn't want 80 million Barbies. I had like 800 dolls. They weren't all going to be Barbie. So this one is Stephanie. Um, little girl me had a thing about the name Stephanie. So just like Stephanie, a, just like Amelia does in Simpsons. Amelia names all her dolls Melody. It doesn't matter what all, year. All dolls, all, all Stephanie. Any dolls, it's Melody. So mine was Stephanie, and this is one of my Stephanies. Um, the funny thing is, this doll's hair didn't always look this good. Um, it was a mess when she was changing it. Was it was ratted and she and just old. turned to me and she goes, We could wash it. And I was like, Yeah, we could. And then she, still hand, she hands it to me and she goes, Go ahead and go wash it. So I, na I named all my dolls I Agnes to go wash when it. I was a kid. So that's Agnes that one. Agnes fights hot for. This one. Is the kin that came in the stuff I got yesterday? Um, Josie liked this fancy outfit, so we switched. Isn't it so him. nice? It's like it's velvet. actually. Um, he was the best man in Tracy and Todd's wedding. He looks so and this stiff. Is the best man outfit. Ken is very stiff. He's always, but he does the bendable legs. Yeah, I love stop. that sound. You're spoiling my Shh. joke. ASMR. I love Barbies. They don't do that no more. Austin's so here's Ken. My joke. He has this lovely. It's fake. It's just the little, you know, around his neck. And um, he has a little cummerbund thing. The only thing is he doesn't have socks, so it looks kind of weird. But doesn't he look great? He's continental. So this was, um, I think this is Malibu Ken. Also my era Ken. But he looks snazzy now, thanks to to her putting him in that outfit. And this one you picked an outfit yeah, for. This is a newer fashion Easter because, Barbie. Um, this was Mom's first Barbie when she got back into the Barbies. Is this pencil um, Barbie? Yes. Okay. Austin calls her pencil Barbie. She's very skinny. She's very petite. The skirt is even big on her, but she has. She's the one with the blue hair. But she put her in vintage clothes. Um, I put her in she vintage clothes vintage. because the outfit she came in was absolutely disgusting. It was mm -hmm. this tank top, and it said like what, like all Barbie dolls shirts have sayings now. We yeah, don't understand that one. It's I think it's like them. dream on. They're all empowering all phrases. All of them. Well, and uh, it had like a really long skirt that was really ugly, and I was like, I'm not putting that on her. This is cute. I like what you've done here. The blue in her hair matches. She her sounds blue like skirt. she's judging me. But yeah, this is this is it. So um, I also have two other Barbies that I brought these out. These are her. She these are to share. these are my my personal collection. Uh, this is um, Soldier Ken. Um, that looks nothing like the guy in the movie. <laughs> a little bit. Li nothing. I don't know. It looks like Jay Bauman like from Red Letter Media. This is Captain yes. America. He looks like John Krasinski. Absolutely no. not. His hair would need to be darker. His eyes would need to be bigger. Yeah. No. No, this is Captain America. This is Captain America. This one is a lot <laughs> less easier to identify unless you have 
chosen to watch a show for six seasons now. The seventh. Six seasons. He doesn't have like a Thor guy. I like him better. I he, he, he does. He does look a what like guy? Um, Thor. I Thor. Thor. He's my favorite. He looks like old Whatever John are, Krasinski, superhero? not The Office, but like Quiet Place, right? Yeah. Thor? Yeah. Is he a superhero? Wait, wait. Who do you think <laughs> Thor <laughs> is? Yeah. Describe Thor. What, Long, is, what does he do? Flowing hair. Uh huh. Big muscles. Yeah. But what does he do? He has a little winged hat. He was in Babysitters Club movie. <laughs> <laughs> um, he works at a auto part store. He's really good looking. And what do you think the actual hero does though? He has a hammer. Yeah, yeah. What does the hammer because do? Because the little girl in that movie had a hammer. What does the hammer do? That, and that was a Marvel know. movie. They, that Did was legit. Do you think legit, I was thinking so. of the other guy, Aquaman? Because he was <laughs> equally hot. Oh my god. And also has long Jason flowing Momoa? hair. And he wears oh my scrunchies god. I don't around think his he's wrist attractive. that coordinate with his outfit. I love that. Uh, this is this is Daisy, also known as Quake from Agents of Shield, which is getting renewed for their for their final season. It comes out May twenty seventh, and I'm gonna be disappointed yet again because the ending of season six was atrocious. Um, super, exactly not what we wanted. But this is her. This is the only piece of Agents of Shield merchandise that we have, and it's not even Agents of Shield. There's a fake Shield logo on the side of her jacket. Why didn't they give her a real Shield logo? Because, they own the rights. Because I don't, I don't know. Because you have a Shield this, jacket like, better than hers. It's for this like a girl's line of superhero toys. Don't you like I, I think if I had to guess. Playing? The, the, all the heroes in that line had like a symbol, and I think they came with like a disc that you put on some wrist beetle or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. So it was part of the play pattern, if, if I'm remembering that correctly. It kind of looks like her a little bit, but not enough to where like if she I, I, wasn't wearing this outfit, I wouldn't think it was her. I knew it was her though, because when I got it at Target, the packaging said Daisy Johnson, Agent yeah. of Shield. Like they weren't shy on the box to tell you who it was. But then when you get rid of the box, it's like, yeah, superhero it female. They didn't want to pay Yeah, but how many toys, uh, once you take it out of the package, look like... I mean, look at those Back to the Future it, it, figures. It they don't want to pay the actors. I think it looks like him. You guys are okay, mean, okay, mean okay, to Captain America. To, to any Bobby out there looking for her man, this this guy won the war. This one won the best comb over competition. Yes. Turn, turn it over, the, 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 Thor, the Thor, the Captain America. Move your hand. That is America's ass. <laughs> Look at right. it. It is. It is. All right. He's kind of a. Austin's he's kind of a short review. dude. Wait, let me see Bobby. Do you wanna? You wanna introduce him? Nine and none of them are All Barbie. Right. Oh well, she's really short. Now kiss. Oh my God. Kiss. <laughs> you wanna inter introduce Austin's music corner? Go ahead. This is where Austin talks for an unspeakable amount of time about something that nobody cares about or knows except for him. No, I'll be quick to the point. Today isn't an album recommendation, but rather a band recommendation. Uh, today I have They Might Be Giants. Uh, don't let start. Come on. Don't, don't, don't let start. This is the worst part. I love that song. Do you know what it's about? To believe for all the world that you're my precious little girl, but don't. No, I don't know. No, because I always figured it was about like a relationship. But... Yeah, I thought it was about please don't fight with me. But he says little girl, and he broke it down in like a, I think it was an article with Rolling Stone. It's about his cat meowing that it needs to be fed. Oh, I, ne I never got you never that. Caught that. Never got that. No. In the song, don't 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 let stop. You're my precious little girl, which refers to an animal. And uh, one of the lines he sings, uh, meow, heal the cat wing. Uh, don't step on the tail, I think You are the cat, you so are the king, you are an yeah. animal. Yeah. You like this because you're a furry and it's about animals? The words I'm singing no, now mean nothing more Because you're an animal. You. Yep. So animal. yeah, it's, it's talking about his cat. Uh, that was on their first album, which I don't own. This is their second album, which was called uh, Lincoln. This is my favorite songs on it. Uh, the single, Anna Nzi. Sorry, say that again? Anna Nzi. 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 Ng. Ing, Ing, Anna Ing. Yeah. Yeah, he made that song because he didn't know Ing was a last name. He yeah, it is a last name, book. yeah. And I think it's great because it's about a romance at the 64. Look at your mom, uh, completely disinterested. I'm doing my own thing. It's about a romance that happened at the 1964 World's Fair, so he sings about all the rides and the Disney Pavilion. It's great. Uh, some of the songs on here, Purple Toupee, which is a really great and kind of sad song about 
baby boomers having nostalgia in the 90s and how the 90s kind of had this huge wave of boomer nostalgia. Not boomer like the kids say, like actual boomer, like jukeboxes okay, and Elvis. <laughs> uh, okay, boomer! He sings about going It's dumb. not an insult, he's not a boomer. Uh, they'll need a crane. Oh my god, this song is so sad, but the bass is so good. And it, it, if, if I had to recommend one song, it would be that one, just because it shows how They Might Be Giants can write a song that's quirky and silly, but once you really start to listen to the lyrics, underneath all that accordion and fun-sounding music is something pretty grim. Uh, they Might Be Giants was one of the first big alternative bands to really strike a chord with children. A lot of kids like their music because they're, they're very happy songs. They sound like they would be in a Disney movie or on an episode of The Muppets. And they later did a lot of theme songs. Uh, they, they walked on Animaniacs. <laughs> uh, they walked with Disney on quite a few projects. They might be giants, you about? Yeah. Yeah, they did one of the greatest theme songs in his television history. Which one? Yes, no, yeah. maybe, oh, yeah. I Bounce don't know. Middle. Can you repeat the question? You're not the boss of me now. They what walked on... Uh, Malcolm in the Middle? Coraline. Malcolm in the Middle? Oh, uh, Rachel, your daughter doesn't know Malcolm in the Middle. We have to make her watch it. <laughs> I liked it back then. I think it's overrated. Uh, honestly, I, I think the amount of writing they did for movies and TV shows outnumbers their albums at this point. Because, I mean, they really did a lot. We're just scratching the surface. There's all Where sorts of stuff. Songs? You haven't seen Cynthia in Malcolm in the Middle? So this is Flood, and this was the most successful album. Uh, it's the most complete in the sense that it has an opening and an ending and lots of sound effects. It's kind of a goofy concept album. Uh, it had the huge hit, Boardhouse oh in Your God. Soul. I love that song. Mom doesn't. Mom, why don't you like Boardhouse in Your Soul? It gets stuck in your mind. I love it. That song makes me so I happy. Like uh, I'm back in class, except I don't have any friends to It's the like, worst show and tell you've ever heard? I don't have any friends to like make <laughs> fun Particle of the Man, with, It's so Thimble, like, Lucky Ball and Chain. I love Lucky Ball and Chain. Here, there's a track on here called Minimum Wage. And I was so excited to get to that one. Like, oh, minimum wage. What's it going to be about? And what do you think the track is? I, I don't it, know. It's nine seconds of whip cracking. Oh. And a guy going, minimum wage, and then a whip crack. Yeah. And that's the whole song. Must have been something they found funny. Yeah. I'm like, what happened there? Were they... Were On they... Paul's <laughs> Boutique, there's a very short song called Three Piece Chicken Dinner, where they do a country song for like 30 seconds. There's a, there's a few of these on here where... They, they aren't, they aren't like really songs. They're just kind of like experiments. Mm -hmm. So it, it's very quirky. Like this, you think Weasel is quirky pop music? This is crazy. This is crazy quirky music. But it's fun. It's not for everyone. I think somebody like Mom that doesn't get comedy, not for Your mother them. hates comedy. Not for them. This is funny music. Do you but find anything funny, Rachel? She laughed at one of my jokes. The Office. The Office. She finds funny. The Office funny. Mm -hmm. True. But they were still a band with a purpose. A lot of those songs were very deep. They were a very progressive band. I was going to recommend this album to Luna, but Luna isn't here. <laughs> nope. uh, it had the lead single, S-E-X-X-Y, which I think it's the first big... Oh! You just figured that out? Is it actually spelled like that, or did you just not want to say it? No, no, no. S it's in letters. S-E... And then the whole song is just them going S-E-X-X-Y, which was one of the first mainstream pop songs to get a full MTV video about being transgender. Oh. Did you catch the world play there? S-E-X-X-Y? Oh. Oh. Chromosomes. Yeah, and the song, I mean, it's completely honest. It doesn't hide anything. So, They Might Be Giants, very good band. Uh, Those taste like the park. What? I ate one. It tastes like I'm going to the park. That's strange. They just taste like the park to me. Okay. So yeah, listen to some They Might Be Giants. Uh, Hold one up and we'll zoom in on it as you end. Are you done? You know, I, I was just going to say... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she's losing it. I, I don't know if I would recommend going out and just picking up albums, because I will be honest, uh, some of these some of these songs are clunkers. She wants to die. <laughs> Open up your streaming service. <laughs> Open up your Spotify. Listen to the hits. And if you like the hits, then explore some of the Stranger songs on here. All right, hold one up, and I'm going to zoom in on it. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, he won't let me do it. He <laughs> won't let me. Thing. She's leaving. She's uh, out. Uh, I mentioned uh, she goes. last night all of the other reindeer, which is a Christmas special I love. Well, there was an audio book recording of all of the other reindeer okay. by They Might Be Giants. Okay. Now you know. Now I know.
You think he'd just go to what I asked him to do three times, but he won't do it? Are you ready now? Yeah, I'm good. Go I, ahead. Oh, oh, you want me to hold it up? Yeah, I'm going to hold it up, and we're going to zoom in. Hello, thanks, Austin, for that amazing music review of They Might Be Giants. It went on for like three hours, right? Every day I think they get longer. You know, we did books. At least it was like funny because I could like flip through and like talk about the book and be like, that art looks bad or like that joke's funny. But like now I can't do that. Now I just have these, these album covers. Like this? <laughs> Okay, so in honor of Eva Tress's birthday and the fact that she's the horror movies and beyond, the she's the Oprah of horror, right? She's the Oprah of horror. We're gonna talk just a couple of horror movies. Now I just I just grabbed some off the shelf. There's no rhyme or reason to these. How many DVDs do I have in the living room? Too many. Hundreds. Voice so crack. there's a bunch I can't even get to because they're just stacked and racked back and forth. So. Uh, this is Monster High. This is not actually... Not to be confused with the doll... Not the doll line. The doll. This movie came out in the 80s. Uh, <laughs> Monster High. This is a low-budget movie. Uh, it's hard to find this disc. You have to look for it. Uh, it's hard to find any horror DVDs. People hold on to those. They're worth money. This one's not like a, a, a huge money thing, but it was filmed on location at Norwalk in Norwalk at Excelsior High. It stars M. Beth Davids. It was her first big screen debut. She went from this, this, to um, Army of Darkness, and then Schindler's List. So this was a big jumping point for her. This movie is terrible, just so you know. It is nearly unwatchable. It is about a couple of goofy aliens who steal a doomsday device and take it to Earth. So Death himself shows up to take it back, and he's going to blow the Earth up unless the people of Earth can defeat him. Are you ready? Does it sound familiar? They have to defeat him in basketball. What movie does that sound like, Austin? A Teen Wolf. Space Jam. Oh. That's the plot of Space Jam. <laughs> I'm not good at this. Uh, teen Wolf. And they have to play to nope. Sudden Death. But it's notable in that... My friend David Lewis actually is in this movie. When they go to the computer lab, he is one of the nerds in it. He got a part in the movie. We were so jealous and so impressed. So check out Monster High. This I got at the thrift store for $2. This is the Omen box set. Check this out. You get all, all of the Omen movies. Look, you get the Omen special edition. Damien, Omen 2. Omen 3, The Final Conflict, where Sam Neill plays Damien as the president and he's going to blow up the world. And then I don't know what this crap is. But these three are very good. This, The Omen, Richard Donner. This is the movie that he made that got him the job to direct Superman. This set him in motion as a big-time director. This is a classic horror movie. Check out um, Holly Palance as Damien's... Uh, caretaker, the nurse that, that hangs herself. She ended up uh, hosting uh, Ripley's Believe It or Not with her father, Jack Palance. She was also the wife in the Robin Williams and Kurt Russell film, Best of Time. So this is a great box. I mean, $2? How can you say no? Uh, I have never seen this crap fest. This is Arnold Schwarzenegger in Maggie. Josie, what's the uh, big deal of this movie? Oh, is that the, is that the movie? That's the movie. Okay, let me come back over. She's coming back around. She has to talk. Arnold Schwarzenegger is about a it's about a guy who's fighting zombies. His daughter gets bit and is turning into a zombie, and he's trying to stop it before she becomes a full zombie. Which is not entirely. It has nothing to do with the plot. It has nothing of, to do, but it, the design of the little girl is me. Well, no, that's not even Maggie. That's, it's all convoluted. Maggie is played by Abigail Breslin uh, from um, what's it, Little Miss? Uh, what's that movie? Rachel? Yeah. Little, little Miss little Sunshine. Little Miss Sunshine. Like her. There's a little yeah. girl in the movie, and she's wearing the exact same dress that I am wearing in the in the show that my father wrote, which yeah. is a pink dress with a white collar and little buttons on it, and she's got monster makeup on, a little dead, it's and her hair's all freaky. It's so and ridiculous. It just like me. Yeah, it's creepy. So this is Maggie. There you go. Uh, and then finally, oh, this is a great one. This is Love at First Bite with George Hamilton oh. as Dracula. It has uh, Artie Johnson as Renfield, Susan St. James as the love interest, and the great Richard Benjamin as the guy trying to kill Dracula. He's a uh, descendant of, um, what's the guy that's always trying to hunt Dracula? Uh, 
You know what I'm talking about? No. Vampire Hunter. His name Muffy? is like uh, yes, Raphael. Uh, Raphael the Vampire Van Helsing. Hunter. Oh, no, Van Helsing. Van Helsing. My brain is not working during quarantine. But this is a classic comedy movie. The best thing in this movie is Sherman Helmsley is doing a funeral. The ca- coffins have gotten switched up, and he goes, "If if this if Jesus is there, give us a sign. Bring our brother back." And he wakes up and he goes, "Good evening." And they all run off. It also has one of my favorite movie lines of all time. In order to become a vampire, he has to bite her three times. He doesn't want to do it because he actually falls in love with her until she decides to run away with him. But she's trying to get him into bed, and she goes, come on, come on, how about a quickie? And he goes, with you, never a quickie. Always a longie. Fantastic movie, so. Horror movies. What? You can hit stop now. I can hit stop? No. How how do I do that? I don't want to delete the video. What's your favorite horror movie? Poltergeist. Poltergeist. You even saw the remake. And Jaws. But I don't really count Jaws. Jaws isn't a scary movie to me. Jaws is suspense to me. It's not a horror movie. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But Poltergeist is. So I I like I like any horror Poltergeist the best. You don't want to like you don't want to see cats. I would say I mean the only horror movie that I've seen that I really remember is it, but I don't like it. It's got that guy in it. It's got that terrible guy in it who doesn't like his fans that I will not be naming because people would hate me if I said that. But um, I'm just saying. It has a, the movie has a disturbing lack of Tim Curry. Did you notice Austin and I are drinking from our Las Vegas Fox 5 cups? Monica Jackson. Local Luke Las Local. Vegas. Austin, any favorite horror movies? No, I don't do horror. He all. doesn't do horror. Not really my thing. The words I'm saying now mean nothing more than meow to an animal. Oh, my God. Josie, what would you like to say to your future self? My future self? You're, it's five years later. Five? How you're, old am I? You're 19, Ugh. and you're watching this video. From college. From Hi. college. What do you say to yourself? Hi, hi, 19-year-old me. Um, I just want to say that if you cut your hair again, you're an idiot. I hope you know that you've made the wrong choice. Um, I hope you've dyed your hair the color that you wanted because I know that I have wanted to for a very long time and I have yet to do it yet. Um, I, I had survived high school by then. Oh yeah, my God, you're graduated. I survived Death Bars. Yes. Wow. You were the lead in all those plays. Was I, did I ever get a role? Did oh, I, absolutely. Did I ever get a girl's role? Yes. <laughs> That'd be so cool. Oh my god. Imagine if like I didn't have to ask the costumers to give me the girl's costume. Like that'd be so cool, right? I hope that that's not still happening. I hope that I look like a girl by then. Um, I don't know. That's I be hope funny that I, I hope that I have a boyfriend. If I don't have a boyfriend, here. then I'm stupid and I should get a boyfriend. He's right here. I hope that by 19 I have a real boyfriend, you know, not Here. Here. Hold him. They're, they're there for you. And he has to like your mother too. You're look, making look, it very oh hard. Pencil, pencil, well, no. be so all sad. Your friends love you. Also, Judging from the past, your boyfriend should like your father, is what I'm saying. <laughs> um, I also want to say that... We'll talk later. Wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, all I want to say is that if I'm not friends with Lucy anymore, then this is some sort of weird alternate dimension. I don't know what I'm living in. I need to go talk to her. If you're not talking to Lucy, what are you doing? Um, she's I've had her baby by then, it, hypothetically. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's having a baby at 18. Yeah, no, Did Lucy, that work out for you, Lucy? Lucy texts me. She texts me sometimes. It's, it'll be like 12 a.m. And she'll be like, what do you think of this name? And I was like, Lucy, yeah. Lucy, you're, you're 15. And she's like, no, but I want to have a baby when I turn 18. She's got to be prepared. She wants to have a baby and get married like as soon as possible. Well, you're 19 talking now to this person, so you and Lucy would be even older than that. Wow. Do you think that would be her one-year anniversary with her, with her husband? That would be, yeah, a one-year anniversary and a one-year baby, but doubtful. Oh, my God. And I'm going to be the best aunt ever. I already said I would spoil the child because I don't want to go through childbirth. That looks scary. I've seen I've seen sixteen and pregnant. I don't want that. No, thank you. I sixteen and pregnant is better than scared straight. <laughs> terrified me. That, that's why that show is so successful. Terrified Childbirth me. Childbirth among teens Absolutely has dropped not. incredibly thanks to that franchise. I'd rather just be like, hey Lucy, can I babysit your baby and then take the baby for the day and then at the end of the day I get to give the baby um, back. I was a weird person because I loved labor and delivery. Something about especially the in part. The whole ripping, pulling, pushing part. 
<laughs> that's oh really God, awesome. Oh, I, I, it's time for me to go now. Let's just it was get never a bad Austin, no, so what, what, what do you want to move? Oh, um, um, I don't know. I hope, I hope that I've, I'd have met. She changed her mind this year, right? Yeah. Before the pandemic. Before the pandemic, was I was going to New York, but I don't now know. Like, oh, I don't um, so. Wait, wait. Albuquerque. She's been a beach girl. I see her by ocean. Yeah, I see. I see me there too. I hope I'd have met Cameron by then, because he'd be graduated um, another year ahead of me. So, yeah. Okay, that's all. That's life. That's your life. Also, what about you? I hope I have a plan. You're 19 now. now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In five years, you'll be 24. Yep. What do you want to tell your 24-year-old self? I I hope I. I'm I think he's gonna have a girlfriend. I, I, I don't want to rush any relationship. If it isn't meant to be, it isn't meant to be. I'm playing the long game. I'm more focused on making sure that I move out of state, get a house, and am financing money well. That's what I'm concerned about. And that's all. I don't know what else to say. You don't have any fun things to yourself? Not really, no. I mean, uh, I, I really don't want to have a kid until I've paid off my house. There she goes again. He's very responsible. There she goes again. Uh, until I have uh, something of value, whether it's property or stock or something. Never I, I don't want to. <laughs> there she goes again. I, I can't. Take it all out. That's the funniest thing i ever seen. I can't have a kid until I have uh, a house. And hey, if I get a big house and I'm working on paying it, then sure, why not? If I, did, I meet the right person. I just think in know. five years you're going to go, who is this beautiful wife? <laughs> yeah. I Where does that highway go? Can, can I predict... What do you predict? Josie will definitely go to college. Oh, yeah. Wasn't for Luna at all. Never even gave it a shot. I'm going to college. Austin gave it his best shot, but realized it was no, going like, to take away money from him and, and keep him from making money in the real world. And the money thing with Austin is very I important. I want school to end. Um, so, yes, I, I see this one for sure being in college and living in a house with a bunch of people. Probably, probably by the beach. Probably by the Very beach. artistic, creative Are you going to pledge Lambda, Lambda, Lambda? See how right I am. Or Omega Moo. Boyfriend for sure, but probably changes him quite often. Probably have a different one every holiday. <laughs> oh my um, god! Austin. Boyfriends are like diapers. They should be changed frequently and for the same I reason. I know, but I'm just saying. If we I count see the that. sixth grade relationships, I've had like three boyfriends. The mother, the mother is pretty yeah. is not gospel. It's not gospel. Austin, oh, no. um, first girl he falls for, like really falls That's for, it. marries. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Forever. Period. And he's like your dad forever. Never leave. Um, he's going to have a beard. I know it. I yeah. just I just know it. He's probably in the random. middle of nowhere, like in the forest I've somewhere. always said this, that your children are either going to be just like you and that'll be His scary, or they're, be they're going to rebel <laughs> against you. Little adults. They're no, gonna they're going like to be carbon copies of him. Yes. But There's a well Simpsons behaved. episode where because Austin was very well behaved. You know that Simpsons episode where Bart's in the future and he has kids and one of them is like a complete nerd. No, that's that's you. Oh, that's your okay. kid. I, I always said your kids are going to be Jules and Vern from Back to the Future Three <laughs> with the the the, 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 the yeah Davy Crockett hat. Yeah, yeah. No, no, that's the cartoon. No, no, I, I thought about the, the movie. Cartoon. They were like dressed up little oh, pop, okay. prim boys. They're little dapper kids. Honestly, I, I've. I've had to reevaluate my moving plans as well due to the pandemic. Yes, yeah, Michigan's uh, out, isn't it? Yeah, some of the states yeah. I was looking <laughs> some at. Some of the states you yeah. no longer feel like there's a state you want to go to. I'm but like, I'm okay. Different in California. Yeah, the lockdown rules. Mm, definitely changing, so, you know. I'm learning a lot about government right I now. I am, a lot, a lot about how business works, and, you know, I... I I would love to be a small business owner. I would love to own a donut shop. Wouldn't that yes, be amazing? Yes, that's what he wants. Like that'd be a dream. If, if I won the <laughs> if I won the lottery, this is doable. We I just love what we sets are off. We have a family that has a donut shop. Yeah, they all have I, donuts. It's I know. Huge. And, hey, you could franchise from them. I yeah, can see that absolutely. I, you know, I sometimes I do think like, oh God, I'm going to end up in the middle of nowhere in like Utah or Arkansas with 15 kids. Maybe. <laughs> I'm like, oh no. And like three wives. <laughs> no, like the Cody Brown guy. <laughs> hey, don't knock the Brown family. I love them. I'm not knocking the Brown. I, I need a couple more wives in here. There was trouble in the waters recently. There is trouble in the waters with one wife. But one wife checked out about a decade when ago. When you have that many wives, She's only been trouble. in it for, you know, the family. It's trouble. No, Austin's gonna have one wife. Yeah, he's a one. He can't one, attract one, lady. one crazy girl. There's no way there's multiple of them so. out there. I might move to you know. So maybe, maybe uh, we're gonna have to meet in five years and we watch this video yeah. and see how close we all. I'm were. thinking uh, Indiana or Ohio. 
I just want to be alive in five years. That's a good, you know, goal oh for me. That's a good goal. There you good go. Goal. Five Hope years. I'm still kicking. Hope I'm still kicking. 50, 50, 50, 51? Sweetie, I'm going to be 50 next year. Five years, I'll be 54. Hey, you guys are doing math. Math wow. is hard. This is hard. 54? Is that bad? That's like, but like. I feel every one of those years so far. Okay, let's, let's say hypothetically, because I, I, you have to be at my wedding, right? When I get married. Well, we would hope. So, we would hope I can. Hope we get invited. I can, like, well, hang on that long. We, like, we, we normally have to here. pay for it. But like. You guys can't die before my wedding. Okay. I'm not going anywhere. I'll hang in there for you. I, it, I've always, I've always. Is it said, okay if I use a walker at the wedding? Because chances are. Oh my god. You make it sound like but, I'm not getting married for a very, very, no, very long well, time. No, we're only a couple years away. Justice, from she's just talking walker. about herself. This could be like six months from yeah. now. A week. No, I want to get, I want to get married. Not as soon as Lucy wants to get married, <laughs> but uh, I want to get, I want to get married. I don't want to be like, like. 27 it's and not still time. single. Or it's like the dating. person. Like, it's the person, not time. At least it, all my children want to get married. That's good to know. I want a really pretty wedding in the forest. It'll just happen. I think that's what Austin like the, wants. There you go. A really Maybe we can have a double wedding. Absolutely not. No, no, no. What are you going to go no, right no, 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 no. Mine is going to be this, like, enchanted uh, yeah, forest. For mommy, and, and like, wedding. I'm in my, like, princess gown with my flower crown. And Your wife can wear that. No. Stop talking. No. And it's going to be really pretty. And there's going to be fairy lights up everywhere. Hey. Okay. What about I have a Pinterest What about a double wedding? I should show it to you. Oh okay, my to my future she self. She didn't hear me. Regarding Did you the, hear me, Josie? She's not going for the double wedding. Well, regarding the wedding, I hope you've placed an order from the finest Amish chef for pretzels. Yeah. Hundreds of pretzels. It Josie. is being an, an Amish catered wedding. He's very yes. obsessed with the Amish. I don't know why, but Those he's probably going to go pick one. Oh, my God. I want an Amish It'll pretzel. just happen, Josie. Like the oh, way I met your mother. I have a wedding picked out. It's really pretty. I have it all off Pinterest board. Let me show you the dress. For those that don't know, Jeff and I had a 50s wedding. It was way fun. To post pictures and I show wait. You. you know how I met your mother? Grandpa hit her with the car. What she was doing in the middle of the road, I don't know. What was it, Rachel? Bird watching? No, but we did like a broken down car on the highway in oh the my rain. God. It was similar. Okay. I'm yeah. trying it's to find a picture of Stimulating to watch you on your phone. Okay, Sorry. wait. She's I think I got it. Pictures. I think I got it. I'm looking North Carolina. Oh. For who? For you. She's running. She's running. There's no it, beach there, is there? It's a coastal state. What it's about a Walt like Disney a World wedding, beach, Austin? Right? It's one of the hottest states. Oh, I thought Austin. it was cold there. No, it's oh my cold God. there. It's like I'm not here. Oh. What? A Walt Disney World wedding with Maid Marian and Robin Hood there. Oh. There you go. This might be doable. You've always liked theme parks. There you go. There and you Rob go. Alvey can vide videograph it. Oh, and he could do like... Perfect. And he can put music, music in. Music that he likes yeah. really fast. All Weezer music. Oh. It's, is this for the wedding? It's not fancy enough. You could find a girl named Suzanne oh, and then play that cool. song. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 I love that song. Suzanne. Jeff, look oh, at these God. dresses she's looking at for weddings. They're all Victorian to the neck. Oh, of course. But yeah, look at this uh, one. nothing... Look this one. Let me see that one. Well, this my wedding is gonna be fun. It's not gonna be yeah. frilly and. Uh, uh, no, it's gonna be pretty. I this want is a pretty wedding. Uh, put this in perspective, Rachel. The Barbie doll took off because why? What to do with brides? Huh? You remember the documentary about Barbie dolls being a bride? She has no what idea what I'm talking about. about. Not they marketed not the doll as a bride so you could give it to your little girl to dream about a big wedding. Oh. You have no idea what I'm talking about. Yeah. You could watch the toys that made us right now and, and it would no, be all new. It. It'd be all new. Well, now Josie would watch it with you. Okay. Right. Organ. We were supposed to watch a movie tonight. Mm, that's probably not going to happen. You give me a look. Organ. You could live on the Organ Coast. I'm a little hipster for Josie. I'm not a hipster. She's not a hipster. Not a hipster. What about okay. getting married at Paisley like, Park? in the wrong generation completely. Not her. No, I'm pretty forest. Here. Massachusetts. Pretty forest. She needs one of those towns you walk into and it looks like you went back in time. Old Hill Valley? Cars. Everybody dresses old school. Uh, like a dapper days, but all the time. I'm, I'm thinking. I want to dress like I'm getting ready for a very fancy Here's event thing. every single day of my life. If you want old town America. Cher knows that lifestyle. Uh, if you want old town America, That's what I want. you're really not going to get that on a coastal state. Because the coastal states are all metropolitan. You have to move in one for that sort of Can thing. we end this? We've been talking for too long. I'm done. <laughs> She's done with her future plans. She's done with her future plans. All right. Josie, do I it. Hope, 
I'm still drinking coffee. Am I gonna coffee. pass the camera around to my father? I hope I'm somewhere colder. I want to be somewhere cold. Um, as always, I was gonna say, as always, I'm your host. Oh my god, no, we're not doing, we're not doing cribs. Um, I'm gonna pass the camera around to my father so that this can end because this is gonna be very long. Why, thank you, Josie. Uh, we're here in the garage, as you can see. We've uh, made it very Play nice. All the naked lady pictures. They're, they're pinups. They're not naked. They're I'm getting pin -ups. rid of them all. You can't get rid of my '80s ladies. I'm getting rid of them. Oh, how about that for the name of this place? The '80s Ladies Club. The '80s Ladies Club. I could do it in like corsive. That's lame. Pink no. neon corsive. No. This has to have a name, like the Tucker Hideaway. Or I, I can't think of something catchy. Castaway you know Bay. Put, put that down in the comments. Yeah, ask people that. Comments. What should we call this garage with our garage lights and the garage lodge? Oh, that's funny. I like that. I like '80s ladies because okay, I got in, Heather in, Thomas in the comments. And you can see. Don't you can see Christy Brinkley. No. And uh, Judy Landers. Okay, we no. want names for the 80s cafe thing, and we also want call recommendations. Yeah, car recommendations. Thank you. I have another movie recommendation that's not oh uh, connected to the horror one. You guys get a half an hour. I get like five minutes. Yeah, like, we're all tired. We're all tired. We're all tired. When dad's part, it's all we're all tired. This is a classic. Clerks Animated. I bought this brand new at Best Buy. It was Thirty dollars, Austin. Oh my god. Thirty dollars. A couple of years later, it was part of Black Friday. It was four dollars. <laughs> this is the animated series that only aired twice on ABC yeah. before it was canceled. Uh, we quote it all day, every day at this house. Every episode has memorable quotations. Just skip the stupid in-between parts with the live action Jay and Silent Bob. The cartoon is much better. And you know what? Even they, they did a movie, Jay and Silent Bob. Yeah, it's terrible. The movie was terrible. But this, there's something about the writing team on this, which wasn't all Kevin Smith. Yeah. Hardly any was Kevin Smith. It was Smith. a lot of animation veterans. Animation veterans who did the show in an animated... Now, it wasn't just Clerks as a cartoon. They made it into a Clerks cartoon, which is a different animal because they go places. They do things. Uh, the only one that's close to a Clerks episode is the last episode where they don't leave the store and everything's going on outside. But up until that point... It is very animated. It is very fun. And Austin has a million favorite lines from it. What's your I, Give I, us a line from it. I, I, he, when uh, Leonardo, Leonardo uh, unveils the plan for the... Yes. The, the Pleasure Dome. The Pleasure Dome. Yes. He goes like, Phase 36, Flying Monkeys. Yeah. Oh, and it's then great. when he does the, the Haunted Mansion tour... Yes, of the, yes. He, he does the bookstore has its own teeny tiny coffee bar. Yes. With its own teeny tiny coffee bar. With its own... Teeny tiny magazine. Yeah, and he builds. And a clerk will follow you home. Yes, and he builds the IKEA desk all, all with long. pieces left over. Yeah, he's. I have all these extra pieces. I love when uh, he offers them college, and Randall consults him, and he yeah. goes, "No, no, no, that ship has sailed." <laughs> it's it's it is the finest oh, Alec Baldwin we, yeah, performance. We Alec Baldwin ever. plays the villain. Yes, and he's great. Leonardo, Leonardo. You know, clerks needed a You villain. want to come over here and talk clerks? He attended Oxford. New Jersey. New Jersey. And yeah. Princeton. New Jersey. And there's even an episode about a contagion outbreak. Yes. That they, yeah. is so timely. They all think they have the pandemic. They all have the virus yeah. because of a burrito that gets left out in the... in the. And why won't he go get the burrito out of the sun? Because... Yeah. Because of uh, some movie, right? No, he got, no. well. That's why. That's why he knows there's a virus because of the movie Outbreak. But no, he won't go out and get the burrito because there's a big bee out there. Oh, that's yes. I'm not I, going out there. I love that. Line. There's a big oh bee out God. there. Hey guys. It's, yeah. Its style of humor is so different than cloaks. I would almost recommend it if you don't like cloaks. Oh yeah, no, I would too because I don't think they're the same animal. No, it's totally different. It, I would recommend it more for animation fans. Hey Austin. Like, huh? It's Matt Damon. It's payback time. You know, Netflix is so many of those terrible adult animated series. But not Clerks. But not Clerks. And, like, I would, it's the best adult animation ever made, as far as I'm I, I, I tend to agree. It's a little dirty, but not really dirty because of the time frame that it came out. No, it's not over the top at all. You know what? It's not gross out. There no, are no gross no. visuals. No. And so many adult cartoons go way too far with the visuals. Yes. This show, no nudity, nothing bad. It's, the best part is when there's something normal in the, in the foreground, but there's craziness going on in the background. Yeah. It, it's a show that tells comedy that you can only do with a cartoon. And that's why it's so good. Plus it has the uh, animators on strike ending. <laughs> 
Oh no, Tom Cruise. Oh, Pikachu, please don't sue. <laughs> Who is driving? Oh my god, Bear is driving. Adrian Romo watches it all the time, as, mu- as many times as we have, which is a lot. <laughs> oh, it's great. Clerks, animated. You can get this on eBay, I think, for 25 cents. Some eBay retailers may even pay you to take it off their hands. Right? Yeah, I, I think it's better than Clerks. I really yeah, do. It, it's the same vein, but different animals, what I would say. I, I think the, the portrayal and the camaraderie between Wandel and Dante is better. It, they're, they're, it, well, there's more with them on yeah. it. They go more places. I mean, the, the one where they uh, are good at Pharaoh, the video game. Yes. And yeah. at the same time, Dante is coaching a kid's t-ball. When this came out, there weren't <laughs> really any shows referencing pop culture. So it was really cool to see a Star well, Wars Well, what's weird about that is Clerks was the first movie to reference that Star Wars takes place. And you can yeah. watch it. Uh, that was one of the big selling points of the Clerks movies. Uh, they talk about Star Wars in it, like uh, in detail, and you're like, it was, it was. This is the. It came out in '94. Clerks did. That's the same year as Pulp Fiction, where all that pop culture stuff is being seeped into movies, and you're seeing characters on screen talk to their friends the way you talk to your friends. Yeah. And that was really cool. All right. Are you? We're gonna wrap it up. Yep. Okay. Stay safe, everybody. Thanks for tuning in today. 44. Oh my God. We only have 16 days to go before I am telling you this show has to end. We are not doing an episode 60. I refuse. I'm going shopping that night at the mall. Right, Rachel? Hopefully. Hopefully. And let's hope you get to go shopping too in your area. But do it safely. We'll wear a mask if we have to or if we don't. Everybody gets to do what they're going to do. You do what you do. I'm going I to do what dress I do. up like Mayo McCheese to protect myself. Yes, that's a Clerks animated reference. So check it out, right? Snooch. To the nooch. 91. Reasons. Hi, we're going to do two orders today. Uh, the, the first order is going to be a two-can dine for ten ninety nine coupon. What two drinks would you like? Uh, first one's gonna be a uh, Coke, and the second one's gonna be. Uh, oh, what do you want, Dad? Give your mom a tea. A tea. Uh, uh, unsweetened black iced tea. Hey, one's a Coke, and one's a unsweetened iced tea. Yes. Okay. And then there's gonna be a separate order, and that's gonna be a two for six classic bacon, beef, and cheddar. And that second order is also going to have a kids meal for chicken tenders. Kids meal with a chicken tenders, apple sauce, and fries. Coley fries. Okay. A coley fries. And what would you like to drink? We have a juice box, a milk, a soda. A coke. Okay. A coke soda. Coke. Okay. And that's gonna be it. Alrighty. So for the first one, your total comes out. 1184 and for the second one it comes up to 1190. Got it. Yep. Thank Excellent. Thank you. Look at that. Austin's become a pro at ordering. I know. Is this like what my phone one now? Yep. I'm going to turn this off. Once again we find ourselves in the Starbucks lane of doom. Welcome to the future of America. Yeah. One drive through to the next. You go through the drive through and then what do you get? To, where do you go after that? The next line. The another drive through. Show me the way to the next drive through. That's a horrible version of the doors, just if you're keeping track. They always said America was built on cause. <laughs> now they're proving it. Yep, yep. They have a little sign out now. Yesterday they didn't. They just kind of well, had to figure out what the owls were. What would you, what do people without cars do? How do they eat? You go to the grocery store and you stock up. I guess so, right? You have yeah. to have a car now. Because a lot of places have no facility for walk-ups. And we're kind of lucky to be in Buena Park, which is an older part of Orange County. There's a lot of parts like downtown Fullerton that are not car-friendly. No. And I wonder how you get around. Well, those restaurants just aren't open, I don't think. They're just closed? Yeah. Because not even takeout's allowed in this state. Most states are doing takeout now. Like, at least 46 or 7 of them. do 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 so, uh, viewers watching, what do you order at Starbucks? Put it down in the comments below. Oh my god, are you one of those people? I'm one of those people. You know what today is? Today's one of those days. 
I'm ordering a Trenta. I know. I really need it. It's been a long walk. He week. needs his it's Trenta, I need which is Trenta. the secret size above Venti. Yeah. Just saying it sounds stupid. Trenta. Yeah. Like I feel, I feel like a glutton just saying it. <laughs> I've officially decided as of today, I want a car. Today's the day, huh? Today's the day. Like, I want one of these. I like these. You fit a lot of drive through in one of these bad yes, boys. Yes, yes, you can. Now that I'm getting food with it and I can see everything amazing you can do with a car, so put in the comments below what cars oh you recommend. Oh my god. Put it in the comments. What's you're, a good car? What's a good one of those car? people. I'm, I'm looking for something cheap, too. All right, I'm going to turn this off so we can order. Yeah.